Yeah, Dr. Chigondo Spire here. I was at Henrob Hospital and I recorded this video to show you how difficult endometriosis can be. Um, it is really a complex enigma that uh, affects a lot of women and sometimes the diagnosis can be very difficult. Um, the best diagnosis of endometriosis is uh, ultrasound and we do a transvagina ultrasound which will show us most of the lesions of the disease. Um, there is no other better way of diagnosing endometriosis other than a simple vagina ultrasound. And this must be done by a trained endometriosis sonographer or gynecologist. And in these videos, you can clearly see that uh, this patient had very bad disease uh, with involvement of almost every structure in the pelvis. Um, the ovaries were affected, they had very big endometriomas, and they were seen kissing with each other, which is a sign of fibrosis and adhesions. Um, <clears throat> when you look closely, you'll see that there was a bowel involvement with a very big bowel nodule. Um, and that is a sign of a frozen pelvis. When you see bowel in between the ovaries, uh, that is bad news. In terms of adhesions, we can see the uterus has um, adenomyosis, which is infiltration of the endometrial tissue within the um, mass of the uterus. Uh, there is the bowel nodule. Um, the bowel nodule is fibrosis in the anterior wall of the rectum and this can cause excruciating pain, discomfort, diarrhea, loose tools um, during um, menses. That is a very big bowel nodule. There is no way you would be able to see this disease if you didn't scan properly. And uh, for this reason, we emphasize that all patients who have symptoms of endometriosis, for example, pain, um, pain which starts as menstrual pain, eventually it becomes chronic pain, um, then discomfort passing stool, uh, sexual pain, infertility. Um, these could be really, really uh, pointers to endometriosis and the th what you can do is visit a gynecologist who has experience in endometriosis so that they do a proper pelvic examination and then a very good ultrasound where they can stage your disease and plan the correct surgery. Mark my word, the correct surgery because if you do not have the correct surgery, then you're bound to have many, many, many other surgeries. The, um, the first surgery should be the best surgery and should be the last surgery by the best surgeon. And that's what endometriosis is all about. Uh, when you look at what we found of the same patient at surgery, the pelvis is totally, totally frozen. Um, the ovaries are bulky with a lot of blood. Those are the white structures you see. Um, they are full of blood or menstrual, menstrual um, content. Because endometriosis means that the tissue of the uterus find its way into the ovary, into the pelvis, through the tubes. And this is a chronic situation that takes um, some time, on average about eight years. These young ladies start with menstrual pain uh, during um, adult childhood and eventually it progresses to this kind of disease. You can see that uh, the rectum is stuck, everything is frozen. And you wouldn't have been able to know this unless you did a very good ultrasound. So my message is that patients who have symptoms of endometriosis should see an endometriosis specialist who should be able to evaluate their case very well with ultrasound and plan surgery or plan any other intervention that uh, is suitable for their cause. Otherwise, it's not good for any um, doctor to just go in and try to operate on a patient who has endometriosis without enough skill and expertise, you will end up causing more harm uh, to the patient. That was the essence of recording this video to show you how bad endometriosis can be and how much havoc it can wreak onto the woman's pelvis. Thank you.
and bye.